My name is Lisa Herrick. I'm the juvenile specialist here at Varghese Somerset. I've been a lawyer since 2009. I grew up in a small town near Seattle, so a lot of my childhood was spent outdoors. Uh, we traveled around the West Coast a lot. My family moved to Texas when I was about 13 years old. I went to high school in South Lake, Texas. After I graduated, I went to the University of Oklahoma, where I majored in sociology with a focus in criminology, and I minored in psychology and Spanish. I did that because I knew all along I wanted to go to law school. I went to law school also at the University of Oklahoma. I focused a lot there on criminal law and juvenile issues and family law issues because I knew I ultimately wanted to be a prosecutor. And I have one little boy. He was born in 2017. His name is Charlie. He's the light of my life. And you know, it's fun being a mom and doing juvenile law because every kid I represent, I see a little bit of Charlie in. You know, I know how much these parents and loved ones care about their children. And I feel that because I know if Charlie were in a situation like these kids are in when they talk to me, I would want someone who truly cared about them and who truly wanted the best for them to represent Charlie. And so that's what I try to do for other people's kids. After I graduated from law school, I was a prosecutor at the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office for eight years. I loved my time there. I got to spend three of those years as a prosecutor in the juvenile division, where my sole focus was juvenile sex offenses. So I've got a lot of experience in that area. After about three years in juvenile handling just sex offenses, I knew my time there had come to an end. And since then, I've been defending juveniles, and that's my focus today. When I was a kid, I was an avid reader and my favorite books were Nancy Drew books. So when I was thinking about what I wanted to be when I grew up, I wanted to be a real life version of Nancy Drew. I didn't want to be a detective though. I didn't want to do forensic sciences. All of those things seemed too limited to one area and I wanted to tell the whole story. So I knew that being a lawyer, being a criminal lawyer would put me in the position where I could tell the detective story. I could tell the scientist's story. I could tell the victim's story. I could tell the defendant's story. I could be the storyteller for the whole thing, which is what I wanted to do. Since I put all that together in my mind ever since that day, I wanted to become a lawyer. I love kids. I have a passion for helping kids. My mom was a teacher when I was younger and I got to experience her heart and her love for kids and really appreciate the work that she was doing and, and how she was doing that in her own way as a teacher. Teaching didn't feel like the right fit for me, but I still have that same passion and that same love for helping kids. I have a lot of empathy for the parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, you know, whoever it is that end up reaching out to me because they love a child who needs my help. I'm a mom too, so I know what it's like to love a kid so much that you would do anything for them. And I know that it takes a lot of love to reach out to a lawyer to represent a child because that's not gonna be that kid's best day, right? There are a lot of kids who have a loved one reaching out to me because in their short life, this is the worst thing they've ever done. There are a lot of parents and loved ones who reach out to me because they love a child who made a silly mistake. I talk to parents who are calling me because their child is being deeply misunderstood or their child needs help that they're just not getting. I have the pleasure and honor of helping them through those very difficult situations. I take a lot of pride in that. And it's the reason I do this is because I love the satisfaction of getting a kid to the right result, to the help they need, to a place where their future is bright and they're not going to be held back because of this. So that's why I love doing what I do. Vincent and Anna I've known for a really long time. I was lucky enough to start out at the prosecutor's office with them and we were all baby lawyers together. Anna and I were court partners for about 18 months, which means we handled all of our cases together in the same court. We were very lucky to practice in Judge Carr's court here in Tarrant County. And we made great friendships, we bonded. And Anna and Vincent are some of my dearest friends. I am so honored to work here with them. The future I see for Vargi Somerset is to expand as much as we can. You know, we wanna help as many people as we can. So that means growth. My goal is to do that in the juvenile system. So my goal is to help as many kids as I can advocate and represent kids in all different types of legal issues that they may have that arise.